Hey, welcome back to the Fitness Survivor channel. So today I have another flash here we'll be reviewing. So this is the Army Tech Wizard C2 Pro. And so it has a maximum lumen of 2,500. Yeah, 2,500 is the maximum lumens that it has. And so something really cool about this flashlight is all the different options that it comes with as far as for attaching it, carrying it, all that stuff. And so we're going to get into that here in just a bit. All right, let's so open this up. Okay. So first of all, with the flashlight. And so something I immediately noticed when I pulled this out was that, you know, usually a flashlight that is kind of of this shape, you have your your actual lead is here. <laughs> and so the way this is set up is you have it facing this way. And so in your hand, when you hold this flashlight, you know, you'd expect you know, you're, where you're pointing it is where it would be shining, whereas actually you'd have to hold it up kind of like a pepper spray, if that makes sense. And I'll get into that. There's a reason for that. So I'll be showing you that in a bit. All right, so it has this really smooth, kind of pleasant feel to it. You notice the head is square. And so that's very good for keeping it from rolling away if you're using it. Um, it'll stop without rolling too far. So that's a good a good design there. All right, so actually really simple here. You got just your button for turning it on. And here we have a magnetic charging port. And the cool thing about the magnetic charging is that it also makes it all the more waterproof. All right, so we'll get into this in just a bit more. Before that, let's go ahead and look at the accessories that it comes with. All right, so it has, there we go, it's all unravel. All right, this is for attaching on your head, so you got like a headlamp. And so if you ever use a flashlight in the dark and you need both hands, you know it's not cool to have to hold the flashlight in your mouth and you start drooling, drooling all over yourself. So this is cool, um, and I like the setup that they chose because not only does it snap into place, but then to be double secure, you have this elastic band that you then pull around and it attaches right there. All right, so with that attachment, you could be, be really positive that this flashlight's not going to uh, fall off while you're using it or if you're running or whatever else. Um, and then also if you need to adjust the light down, you know, basically you just, you just twist it. And so whichever way you want it, a higher or lower. And so that's cool. Like I said, it's got several different types of ways to carry it. So that's one, the head mount. And the next one that comes out here is the, the pocket clip. And in here we also have some spare O-rings. I'll show you the O-rings in a bit. All right, so like I said, removable um, pocket clip. Oh, and it's really tight. Let me see here now. Wow. Let me get it all scratched up, get it on there. Let's give us another push here. There we go. All right, so there's the, the pocket clip. And it does scratch off the, uh, the finish a bit, which is rather unfortunate. And also really rather hard to get off, back off. Okay. Sure enough, things are good. All right, there we go, got that off. So let's see, so you can see a bit of the scratches from that. All right, then the next attachment here is this is for attaching to a bicycle. So you have, it's right here, you would unscrew, and you'd pull that out. What you do is on the front of your bicycle, you would just hook this on there, run this bolt to the back, and then you'd tighten it down. And it also comes with, um, some rubber pieces here. Let me get this out. So, because everybody's bicycles are different, you have some large uh, pipes and some thinner pipes. And so, what this does is you can put this inside like this. And so, if you have a thin bar on the front, then basically that would, you know, reduce the diameter here. Or if you have, you just don't want to scratch up your nice bicycle, you have this 
rather thin piece of rubber here. And the same thing, you would just, the double-sided tape, you would just stick it right in there. And that way, when you attach to your bicycle, you don't be worrying about you rubbing off the paint or whatever else. All right, then the flashlight attaches the same way. So it attaches like this, just push that on. And again, it has this elastic band that I like really well. And you just pull it over, put that on. And once again, riding down the road, if it's a bumpy road, whatever else, you don't have to worry about this thing wiggling out because you know if it's just snapped into place, then a good you know bump can possibly you know uh, knock it off the bicycle. And so I like I like that. That's well thought out, very well thought out. All right, so move that over here too. All right, so that gives it the the head attachment. You can put it on your head, put it on your bicycle, or, or really anywhere where you have a pipe, anywhere you have a bar. Um, you have the pocket clip, which as you saw was a bit rough getting on and getting off. But from a certain degree, I guess that's good because again, if you have this on your belt, let's say you have the pocket clip on there, you have it attached to your belt, you don't want the flashlight to be able to just easily fall out of the clip because it'd be a shame. This flashlight costs $100. And so if you were to lose this flashlight because it's loose, you know, that would be unfortunate. And so, all right, and then the last thing in here is the charging cable. And like I said before, the, uh, the charging method is actually magnetic. And so all you do is, you put it up there, and you see it literally pulls itself to it and attaches. All right, so that makes it easy. You don't have to open a rubber port. Um, you don't have to dig around. Don't worry about it being closed up. And so if you're working in the rain, or if you drop it in the water, you, you don't have to worry about, oh, you know, did I close that rubber port? You know what I'm talking about on the on the flashlights where you have the like a micro USB charger and you have usually like a little rubber, you know, stopper on it, something to keep it, you know, waterproof. Whereas this, you don't have to ever worry about that. The only thing you have to be con concerned about is if you have the tail cap always screwed on. And something else I noticed that was really cool is that it actually has, there we go, it actually has two rubber seals there. All right, so you have the, these O-rings, and there's actually two of them. And so that's, again, that's, that's well thought out because if the first one does fail, you still have the second one. And also, you'll see like right here on my finger, it's greasy. And so these, the threads are greased, and that's supposed to be that way. All right, you have a re removable, replaceable battery. This is a 3,500 milliamp hour. It's an 18650, and so common size, and so Really no issues if you want to, if something were to happen, you need to replace it. It's an easy battery to obtain, easy to replace. All right, there we go. All right, next thing is um, the actual function of the flashlight. And so if you just push the button once, it does nothing. I bet I have the battery in backwards. One second, people, technical difficulties. Apparently paid no attention when I pulled that battery out. All right. So, <laughs> back to where we were. So what you do is you push the button and the flashlight comes on. And then if you hold it down, it'll scroll through the different brightnesses. And we will go outside and we'll test this in the darkness. All right. Click it again and it turns off. Now if you triple click this, so you click the button um, three times. Okay, it's gonna go into your, um, it goes into the, what's it called? The maximum output. All right, it's what they call, a loss of words here. It's what they call our turbo mode. Okay, and so that's gonna be your maximum of 2,500 lumens. And again, we will take this outside, we'll test it. All right, if you just double, uh, if you click it once again, it'll go back to the last uh, light setting it was on. All right, so double clicking it, we'll take it in just to your normal uh, settings. All right. And if you click it four times, you get your strobe. Uh, if you hold that down, then you go to your SOS. All right. Just like that, okay. And if you, Click and hold it down while it's off. It goes into moonlight mode, in which really in this light you really can't even see. Oh, it's overhead light. All right, so it's a very very uh, dim moonlight mode. They actually have a couple of them. 
So this is the dimmest. And on this setting, you actually can, uh, it can last up to 200 days. And again, this is something like, I don't remember now what it was, it's like 0 0.1 lumens, right? So I mean, very, very, very dim light. But again, that's, that's, that's cool that it has that option. And actually three different moon lights. All right, and again, we we'll go back to double click and it goes back into our, our standard brightnesses. There we go. All right, next thing we're gonna test is actually the waterproofness of it. So let's go ahead and move this stuff to the side here. And I just took the battery out. And so I'm sure that the, the tail cap is nice and tight. And so we won't, we won't double check that. So here we go, we're just gonna submerge it in a bit of water and see how it works, if it works. All right, so we can see it turns on. And yeah, we can scroll through the settings. All right, there's the turbo. All right, so it appears to be working. And again, it's supposed to be able to um, stay underwater for it's like two hours at 10 meters, I believe is what the box says. And so of course our, our small little test here is rather short and insignificant. Let's go and we'll open it up and we'll see if any moisture got inside. All right, it looks a itty bitty little drop right there. Got past maybe the first O-ring. Otherwise, it is dry on the inside. All right, so that's good. And the LED, the lens on top of it is kind of like, has an awkward design, awkward um, pattern, where you can't actually, it's not like transparent, but it does not appear to have any water inside the lens. And so I would have to say that it seems to be waterproof in our small little test here. All right, so next we're gonna do is actually take this outside and I'll show you just how bright the, the flashlight is. And then we'll be back in here to continue uh, our little review. All right, so that was the brightness of it. And so, hope you guys enjoyed that demonstration. All right, and a couple more things I wanted to say. Uh, one of them was something that I learned, per se, the hard way, is that when you go to charge this, let's say just like you'd expect, you just you know, toss it on there, and it started blinking red. And so, of course, um, open up the, the instructions, which we men hate to do, and I didn't find anything. It's like, you know, it seems like everything's correctly attached. So actually I reached out to Army Tech and they said, it's a safety feature to protect the flashlight from overheating. You have to do just a quarter turn on the tail cap and then it begins to charge, all right? And so if you do get this flashlight, hopefully that'll help you out <laughs> when you go to charge it. All right, next thing is, uh, if you go to armytech.com, and you type into the coupon uh, section, um, fit to survive, and I'll put that up on the screen. Um, the actual, you'll be able to get a 15% off uh, discount. And so if you're interested, be sure to check that out. And again, that's actually on their, their website. So on armytech.com. All right, so thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this flashlight and don't forget to subscribe.